3D Boo, welcome back to Paper Mario 64 HD Part 1. It's been a while. I wonder what Mario is doing right now. I wonder if he's hurt. I'm so worried about him. I'll be alright, Princess. Why, I bet he's seeing some star spirits right now. Yes, you're right, Twink. I must be strong. I need to concentrate on finding a way out of here. But there are tons of guards just behind your door. And it's impossible for you to escape through the window. Wait a minute. I remember the minister telling me that there was a secret passage out of this room. Twin, help me look for it. Great idea. Cool. Okay, we cannot move around with Peach. We cannot jump. Now, uh, people wonder what happens if you go out the store. This is what happens. You get caught. But Princess Peach, no, you're not allowed out of your room. You're not allowed to leave your room. I'm sorry, but we'll have to take you back. Aww. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Oof. I just love playing Paper Mario. You alright, Princess? Did they hurt you? I'm fine. Yes, I'm fine, Twink. Thank you. I was just plain stupid. I gotta be more careful. It doesn't look like you can get out through this door. Let's look around. Why does this look like a bathroom, but it's a closet? So many dresses, and yet they all look exactly the same. They're not the same. The designs are all slightly different and very fashionable. That's funny. Oh, for Mario. Don't look at that. Yeah, I love Peach. This is no time to sleep. Yes, let's keep looking. Okay. We can go outside. It's just like a good thumbnail. Okay. Let's keep going. I finally finished the teal mask the other day. Now I gotta find and capture the loyal three. Look, there's something on this painting or drawing. Let's hit the button. I did catch Ogre Pond in a Pokeball. I can't wait till the teal mask. Not the teal mask, the indigo disc. Yes, cool. Now we can get out of this room. I realized something very funny today. The Santa Claus's TV show are heavily connected to the films. The first one, he struggles to be Santa and then achieves his destiny. The first season, he lets go of being Santa and then takes back his role. And he has to struggle to get it back. Would Bernard in the first one do? The second one is, he faces an evil Santa. He wants to give the world coal, and then he faces... A zombie Santa, the mad Santa, who was imprisoned. They're very similar, and if they have a third season, it's probably gonna be the escape clause or something. Okay, and Cal has to be Santa, so it's another clause. Oh! Go hit this button. Where are we? Okay. Let's look, it's locked. Oh no, he can't get out. Let's go over here. Hey, look at this. It looks like somebody left a private diary just lying around. Should we read it? Only a little. Oh, you like doing the short stuff, do you? Disc, disc. Okay then, very quietly. Let's see. Day, oh, oh, month, star, sunny. 
Today I want to start Haven and stole the Star Rod. Now I'm invincible! Cool! I also captured those seven star spirits so they won't annoy me anymore. It was a hard day's work and I'm feeling pretty bushed. Denier was nice but a bit bland. Hmm. I feel like I might know who wrote... I've, I feel like I might know the person who wrote this. Shall we read more? Only a little more. Okay, let's continue. Day O X. Month star. Cloudy then sunny. Today was great, diary. I used my castle to lift Princess Peach's castle way up into the sky. Then I barged into Peach's castle and beat up Mario. Yeah, unbelievable. I know. So fun. And there's more. After that, I kidnapped Princess Peach. I couldn't be happier, diary. I hope she likes me. I doubt it. <gasps> Princess Peach, this is Bowser's diary. Ah! What do we do? Should we read more? No! What? Really? You're stopping now? You're stopping now? <laughs> there might be a hint that can help Mario. Read. Only for Mario. Day XX. Month. Star. Sunny. Well, the Koopa Bros got beaten by Mario, Diary. He even set free that stupid star spirit I kept there. I'm so mad I could barely write. Oh, I'm Mario. I'm... So big and strong and good and helpful. <laughs> I hate him, but I'm not worried. There's no way Mario can save the star spirit being held in dry, dry ruins. To do that, he'd have to solve the mystery of the sands and then find dry, dry ruins in dry, dry desert. He won't. He, how would he even know to go to the desert anyway? So I'm not worried at all. In fact, I'm so calm, I'm gonna go to bed now. <gasps> dry, dry ruins in the middle of dry, dry desert. One of the revered star spirits is being held there. Twink, do you think you can... Twink, do you think you can find Mario and tell him that? Yes, of course, Princess Peach. I'll find Mario right away. Oh no, I can't believe I left my secret diary lying out. It would be so embarrassing if somebody read that thing. Ah, what? What's the princess doing here? Oh, you little sneak. You read my diary. King Bowser, is there a problem? Yes! You're the worst cards ever. You can speak back to our room immediately. Yes, sir. Straight away. Forgive us, sir. No, put me down. Frankly, though, when I played the original game on this before at the time when I was like 11 or 12, I think it was like 4th grade, I didn't actually have much of a guide. I didn't know how to get past flower fields, but the rest of it I didn't have a problem. I found the oasis on my own. I went to the town. Gave knowledge, got a pulse stone, and then naturally got into the ruins. Finished everything, used a few thunderbolts on the next boss, and kept going. It was weird. But number five boss always gave me trouble. Mario, I believe you'll save us all. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all you've done. Thank you. Since you have freed me from my prison, the seal on my power is broken, and I will recover little by little. As long as an ounce of my power remains in me, I shall help you. Okay, got a new power. Star power. And I will do the tutorial, because some people don't understand. There will be two tutorials, by the way. Mario can now use the Star Spirit's power in battle. Using a star power requires star energy. Would you like me to explain to you? Yes, please. Allow me to explain. This might be a little bit of a longer episode, but not too much longer. Okay. Now I'll explain to you quite simply what you gotta do. This is your gauge for star energy. Yeah, that little star wand. That measures your entire star energy. And every time you use a star power, you can use one, two, or even three wands for a star power. 
each time you use one, you recover each time a little by little. And you can use this move called Focus. If you pair a badge to Focus, you gain extra. So if you triple the badge power, you can recover a lot more each Focus. And I didn't even know why they created this badge originally, but it really does work. It's called Group Focus, so your partners can use Focus too. You can't use a star move with your partner, of course, but you can use focus, and focus really does help. And I'll show that off now. See the star right there? It's a gauge. Okay, I just explained everything. Okay, let me explain. Okay, this is the star power. You can use focus, which will charge the star energy, and then your star power. This one is called refresh. It recovers HP and FP by 5, and it also cures poison and shrink. I have never had that shrink attack much, except for maybe one time, so shrink is not bad. Poison's pretty bad. Okay, let's use refresh. This is a really good star power for the beginning of the game, but near the end of the game, it's not that great. See, both HP and FP recover 5 points each. You use one energy unit each time, so now you're empty. When you use focus, you'll charge it more, and then it'll eventually come back. Okay, let's charge. Some of you may not like focus, but until I learned how it worked, I didn't like it either. But thanks to Tucker Conroy, I understand it better. Okay. Explain. Okay, focus. Just let the air on the ground. They song. Focus. That's a good song. Okay, star energy is slightly charged. Did you notice how much that increased? Focus increases the star energy more quickly. And then you can get a badge eventually called Deep Focus. And it does a much deeper power. Okay. Now. Next time we'll be going on the road again and heading back to Toadtown. And we'll be doing a little bit of an errand before we finish. We need to get a sleepy sheep and then head back to Koopa Village to give it to Koopa Koo and then he'll give us a very special item. If the seven of us come together, we'll be able to bestow upon you a star power called the Star Beam. The Star Beam is the only thing that can counteract the Star Rod that Bowser wields. So the rod's power would break, and the star beam would smash it. I have to go back to Star Haven now. I must leave immediately, but I'll always be watching. Save us all, Mario. Okay, see you guys next time. Now, a common question. What is your favorite Christmas feast food? Mine would have to be... Probably chips. See you guys next time. Bye.